Hey guys, uh, so in this video what I will be showing you is that how you can actually scan a barcode and then after scanning the barcode how can you actually take that barcode number and uh, get more information from this uh, about the product like what is the name of the product, what is the image of the product and, uh, the, and the brand of the product and the category and uh, etc. So once you are in the in the mobile app which is dragged through PTK native uh, you will see this button here that we added the vector to uh, so if you just take scan barcode now you can just scan a barcode and as you can see that this pop-up now shows the barcode number here then you have the barcode title and uh, the product title then you have the category and then you have the brand as well so and then you have the image of that product as well so this is how you can actually scan the barcode and and after that you can get information about that product uh, as well so you can also get uh, information like prices prices and everything about that product so let's get back to the video now hey guys uh, so before moving forward uh, it is important for us to understand on how we how we will actually implement barcodes in our app uh, so be, to begin with what happens is uh, that you first need to actually scan the barcode so let's suppose there is a product uh, in the table and you just need to scan it through your phone so the first step is scanning that uh, barcode so to scan that we actually need a plugin from bdk uh, so it is called native BDK you can get it for $16 I think from the bubbles marketplace and after that uh, you need to actually get that barcode uh, a barcode number that 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 uh, that scanner will give you and then uh, in the step number three you have to send that barcode number to an API directory uh, it is a central da uh, database uh, that contains all of the barcode numbers and against those those barcode numbers there will be product data uh, so in the first step we actually need to receive that information that uh, that product data and then we will actually show it in our app uh, so as you can see here uh, that I have a button here in this app that says scan barcode and on this button so we will be show, show, uh, using the bdk plugin for this because this is a mobile app and the barcode will be scanned through a uh, mobile app we are using bdk's native bdk native plugin uh, so let me actually show you that plugin uh, it's this plugin uh, you can get it for i think 16 dollars from the uh, bubble marketplace uh, and then you can come into the workflow and on that button you you actually have to use this workflow it says bn scan uh, scan code bn scan code uh, so if you just write scan uh, it will say scan code a bn uh, so name convention is a little bit off uh, but uh, it does it does your job uh, so what you have to do is uh, when uh, once you have uh, added this workflow we have to actually add an event in this workflow uh, so if so it is so we will come here and we will say uh, when you actually to actually get this workflow what you need to do is that you need to include this uh, this element here somewhere uh, I have actually included it here. Let me actually show you. So, this is the element. Uh, it, it, so it does not take any space. I have just made it uh, made it one way, uh, one pixel width and uh, one pixel in height. So it does not take any spaces. Uh, so when you actually uh, so the workflows and events will only appear uh, once you have this element on the page uh, otherwise they won't appear so it is necessary for you to include this 
uh, on the page somewhere. Uh, so when you have actually uh, added this workflow uh, on the button, you need to come down here and add a, uh, add a event that says uh, a BN it says let me actually say this a bn scan code bn code is scanned so this is the event that we need to trigger uh, i have already triggered it here so once you have triggered it uh, what i have now set up it uh, set up it to be shown is that once a user goes and scans a product uh, barcode whatever it will do is it will show a pop-up and up that pop-up will have information about the product such as image, title, uh, brand and category of the of that product. Uh, so for this what I will do is I will create two uh, I have, uh, let me show you the pop-up actually that will show up once the code is scanned. Uh, <coughs> so here is the barcode uh, pop-up. So as you can see that we will show the content uh, this is actually that number that that gets scanned once uh, that that gets scanned once uh, you have actually scanned that barcode uh, and then uh, uh, through that content uh, that number that you get what what you need to do is you need to send it uh, to an api and you need to send it uh, send that barcode number through it as well uh, you need a key for this i will hide it uh, in the video uh, the key is actually your authentication that you have actually bought this api so you just need to pass this i will actually sh uh, show you a complete api setup in, uh, in the later part of the video so let's let, let get, uh, let's get back to the workflow uh, so so the first thing first uh, we will actually make two uh, states for in the pop-up which is type and content we don't actually need, actually need type we just need the content so it just says that this bn code scan this event will give give us this variable that whatever this uh, code is scanned uh, here is here is its content so we just need to get it and then uh, once we have that barcode number we need to send it to an api and this api will actually give us information about the product such as name title and uh, image etc and then once we have this information ready we will display it in that pop-up and we will actually uh, show then we will actually show that pop-up uh, so this is how you have to set up everything uh, and then in the pop-up in the pop-up as you can see i have the product image product title product category and brand so this is how you have to set up everything uh, so uh, if you need uh, so now uh, After this setup, after <clears throat> after this setup, you are now ready to uh, do a quick test on your mobile app. So we will be using uh, this barcode lookup uh, API uh, uh, barcode lookup uh, database. Uh, so for this, what you have to do is uh, you just need to come in this in, in the documentation, and let's suppose we just want. To, uh, uh, we just want to get the product information from that barcode uh, so we will use only this uh, get uh, get method api call uh, i have already set up, set this up in the bubble app so let me actually show you that so if you just come here uh, you need to create a, 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 get, you need to get into api connector and we just need to create a new 
API connection here, which is none or self-handled. You don't need to include any uh, shared header headers or shared parameters. So in this, you just need to create one API, which you can name it anything. Uh, its uh, method will be get. Uh, it will and headers. Uh, it will accept. Uh, so as you can see in the documentation here, it says include a header which which will be accept application json you just need to include this and then after this you just need to copy this all of this and then you need to come here and just uh, paste this url here after you have paste, uh, pasted this url you need to actually make this uh, dynamic uh, so let's suppose if i include let's say it can be five so we will not so, so let's suppose it is the barcode number so we will not include this in the uh, in this uh, uh, url because it will hard code this url so what we need to do is we need to make it dynamic so to make it dynamic actually what we will do is we will make scale brackets and we will set a variable named barcode so what will happen is this bar when we enter any value here in this value this value will actually be replaced with this uh, scale brackets barcode uh, when you actually call this API. So same thing with key parameter as well. Uh, so this is our key. This is not the complete key. So I think I will hide it in the uh, post production. Uh, so after this, when you have actually uh, made this API, you just need to set it as action and then you need to reinitialize any just initialize the call when you initialize this call uh, you you will actually get a list of products uh, inside this uh, and then it will contain title category manufacturer brand and then if you just scroll down it will have the description and images of that product as well and then in that you will also have its price as well so you can actually use all of this uh, in the api in the workflow so as you can see here uh, i have actually set this api and because because this is not private because the barcode number is not private i will set it dynamically from here so whatever user will scan uh, and whatever the BDK's plugin will uh, BDK's plugin will return as as the barcode number, we will include that barcode number here, and that barcode number, uh, and and then uh, it will throw an API call to the, to the to their server to barcode lookup server, and in return it will give us the product information, and we will show that product product information uh, in the pop up. Uh, so this is how we will set up everything for the barcode scanning thank you so much for watching the video this long uh, you can subscribe to the channel and also like this video if you uh, actually felt that this video was valuable thank you so much until next time thank you